What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video <clears throat> and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Safari uh, toolbar in OS 10 Yosemite. Uh, the particular version of Yosemite that I am running is 10.10.2 which I believe is the latest version. Um, but yes, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now the way you do this is actually somewhat hidden for those that do not know or are unfamiliar with the Mac OS X operating system. Uh, so, yeah, it, it can be somewhat hard to find uh, how to do this if you're not familiar. Uh, but anyway, uh, so first thing you need to do is, of course, jump over here and open up Safari. Let's go ahead and let that open here. All right. So now once you got Safari open... Uh, all you have to do is, depending on what your right click is on your Mac, uh, for me it is a two finger click on the trackpad, and I am using a MacBook Pro, uh, but for those using a iMac or a Mac Pro or something like that, uh, one of the desktops, um, and you're using one of the Magic Mouse, um, I believe it's also still a two finger click, but I think that there is a right click button on that as well so but anyway whatever right click option you have selected uh, go ahead and do that on either side of the address bar so do that and you'll get this option here called <coughs> excuse me uh, customize toolbar so what you want to do then is just click that and then you'll get this drop down menu where you'll get uh, several options uh, that you can configure so basically uh, as you can see, there's little squares highlighting where you can place these little buttons. So, say for example, I want to drag the print button over here. You can easily do that, and it'll place it right there. And say I want to put a, let's see. Uh, let's say I want to put my top sites, and I want to put that on this side. You can do that. <coughs> and then there you go. And then if you want to remove uh, one of the buttons that you have just placed, all you have to do is drag and drop it out, and it will disappear. As you can see, a little cloud animation will show up, and then the button is now gone. <coughs> uh, but if you want to revert to the default layout, all you have to do is drag this entire section down here. As you can see, it says drag the default set into the toolbar. So basically what we're going to do is drag this, put it up, and it basically puts the toolbar back to default settings, essentially. Um, so that's basically it there. So, And then you can also use this thing called a flexible space. Um, essentially what that does is it gives you a space, and that's what these little rectangles are. So if, if I drag one of these up, it will put a little spacer in there uh, to kind of widen the blank spot here. Um, Really, you only need to do one of these particularly. Uh, you don't really need uh, two on the same side because uh, it just really, I don't i don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't seem necessary. Uh, but again, if you don't want it, you can drag it out and it'll disappear and stuff like that. And then you know, the buttons that are already there, uh, you can rearrange them like so, put them however you want, downloads there, stuff like that, put this back over there, and then you're done. So and then when you're done configuring your toolbar, all you have to do is hit done. And the, to the little menu will slide up, and then you are free to use uh, your toolbar to how you just customize it. So, say you can click this now and go and do this, and everything like that. So, that's how you customize your Safari toolbar in OS X Yosemite. Now, real quick, uh, you can do the same thing in Finder as well. So, if I open up Finder here, uh, you can right click on the Finder toolbar and get the same exact option. So, if we can click on customize toolbar again and you get a wide range of buttons that you can customize for finder so say for example I want quick look I can put that right up there and hit done and I can easily click on uh, say for example this picture click quick look and immediately quick look it opens up the picture so it's really intuitive and a really nice thing to be able to do again drag it out disappears and just like Safari you can easily drag this entire default toolbar thing up top and it'll put the uh, default buttons that were there prior before editing so it's pretty cool um, now basically the ways that you do this um, 
It will also work in OS X Ma uh, Lion, Mountain Lion, and Mavericks. So for those of you that are using those operating systems, uh, this uh, customized toolbar, um, customizer, customization options uh, will be available to you on those operating systems as well. So it's not just on OS X Yosemite. Uh, so, yeah, but that's basically how you customize your toolbars in both Safari and Finder in OS X Yosemite. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. Also, hit the like button as well. It's much appreciated. And <clears throat> if you guys have any comments or questions or just basically need help, I'll drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll uh, do my best to help you guys out. And basically, yeah, that's it. So hope you guys have enjoyed once again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.